Hello students, this is a continuation series of one mark questions under the topic transportation problem. In set 1, we have completed 10 questions. Now we will continue that. The next question is, dash method is preferred over other methods of solving a transportation problem as its feasible solution obtained is either optimal or very close to the optimal solution. Now in solving a transportation problem, we will have various methods of solving it. That is we have northwest corner rule and then least cost entry method and also we have row minima method, column minima method and Ogle's approximation method. Out of all these methods, Ogle's approximation method is preferred over all the other methods because its feasible solution will be either optimal or it will be very close to the optimal solution. And so the answer here is Ogle's approximation method. So Ogle's approximation method is the correct answer. The next question is, in Ogle's approximation method, the difference between the two least cost in each row and each column is called dash. So, in Vogel's approximation, what we do is we find the differences. How do we find it? We consider the first row and then we take the two least cost and find the difference and then we write. Similarly, uh, we, next we will move on to the second row and then third row and so on. Similarly, we will do the same for the column also. We will consider each column and we will take the difference between the two least uh, cost and we will be writing. And that difference is known as penalty. P-E-N-A-L-T-Y. Penalty. So, the answer here is penalty. The next question is, dash method is used to test and find whether the basic feasible solution is the optimal solution for a given transportation problem. So, when we find the basic, uh, that is the initial basic feasible solution for a transportation problem, we would like to check it whether the solution is optimal or not. If it is optimal, then we, we will be uh, just proceeding the problem. Like we will conclude that that solution is the optimal solution. If not, we will be drawing the loops and we will be finding another op a solution. And then we will make an optimality test for that solution. And in general, all the, these method, methods are known as M O. DI method that is modified distribution method. So the method uh, used to test the optimality and to find the optimal solution is known as MODI method that is MODI method. The next question is in a transportation problem MODI method stands for just now I told you it is known as modified distribution method. So therefore the transportation problem in general is known as a distribution problem. Okay. So in a transportation problem MODI method stands for modified distribution method. The next question is in a non-degenerate basic feasible solution of a transportation problem the M plus N negative 1 allocations are in dash positions. We already saw that a basic feasible solution is said to be a non-degenerate basic feasible solution. In a transportation problem, if the total number of allocations is exactly M plus N negative 1. Now here, they are saying that uh, in, in this such type of solution, these uh, uh, that is the allocations m plus n negative 1 will be in dash positions that is they will be in independent positions they will be not dependent to one another so therefore they will be in independent independent positions so this is the answer so with these 15 questions we complete the series of one mark questions under the topic transportation problem 
in our next video we shall continue with one mark questions under the topic assignment problem hope you have understood these uh, one mark questions thank you